want to take a look at New York's 11th district race, which covers Staten Island and parts of Brooklyn. Nicole Maliotakis is the only Republican in the city's congressional delegation, and she is running against former Congressman Max Rose, a man she unseated two years ago. Lucy Yang is live in Rosebank with more on the race. Lucy. Well, Sade, this is the only congressional district in New York City that's currently held by a Republican. The big question tonight, will it stay red? Will incumbent Nicole Maliotakis get to go for a second term or will it swing to her Democratic challenger? <laughs> The 11th Congressional District traditionally votes red. It covers all of Staten Island and a sliver of Southern Brooklyn. Republican incumbent Nicole Maliotakis is not taking voters for granted. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. The one-term Congresswoman is asking to go back to Washington for seconds and believes she knows her constituents. We feel great. We know that we've uh, served this district well, that we went to Washington, we fought, we brought back resources for our NYPD, our local hospitals. Her challenger is Democrat Max Rose. He previously held the title for a term, but two years ago, Maliotakis took the congressional seat from him, and now he's looking to snatch it back. It was always going to be a close race, even despite the fact that some people counted us out. Uh, but we're fighters, again, because we care so deeply about our community. Rose knows he's the underdog, but he also knows anything can happen on election night, as underscored by his two-and-a-half-year-old toddler. Heck, I, I just had a sticker put on my head during a live interview. You know, any, 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 anything could happen. Malia Takas voted early last month with her immigrant parents, struggling with selfies like everyone else, her father proudly sharing the family's secret sauce. She has something very special, the Greek wisdom and the Latin passion. I'm Greek and uh, my wife is Cuban. There is a lot at stake in this particular race. It's not just a fight between two candidates who have history running against each other. This is an important piece of the national collage that will determine how Congress looks tomorrow morning.